The beautiful thing, though, about where we are right now, and one of the reasons I feel okay moving out of L.A., and you're out of L.A., is that mm -hmm. we can, we're in control of our own business now. We don't necessarily need them. And I don't know a whole lot of people who are comics who are making their money because they live in Los Angeles. No, you know what I mean? no, right? Not at all. Like not at all. We're at a good, we're at a good. We're, I mean, we're at a good stage to be a stand-up because when we were coming up in the late '90s, you were at the mercy of network execs and yeah. somebody saying, uh, "We're going to allow your material to be seen." Mm -hmm. Now, because we all knew those funny guys in LA that just couldn't sell tickets or couldn't get on the road like that because they didn't. Nobody yeah. was fucking with them really. Now with YouTube, you kind of control your own narrative. It's up to you. Yeah, what really is, is what is. I, I be, and early on, like I remember early on, I did whatever I had to do to make a little extra. Like uh, I was on Univision. Joey Diaz called me one week and he was like, hey, dog, Univision, they're looking for comics. He goes, can you pretend to be half Hispanic? And I Was go, that K Locos? Yeah. And I go, yeah. I go, yeah, I can be half Hispanic. And he goes, all right, you need to write five minutes of material about being half Jewish, half Cuban. Let's see it. <laughs> So I went, I went down. They didn't check me or anything. So I did five minutes about being half Jewish, half Cuban. And they were like, you were great. Can you come back and do five more minutes? I'm like, no, I don't think so. That's all, <laughs> That's all the <laughs> Latin material I got. But I would do anything to get. I went on the gong show, the, the new gong. I remember going on the new gong show. And they said, do, you want to do your material? And I didn't want to do my actual material and get gonged. So I pretended to be. A, a character named uh, David Paragamo, who was a combination of two open micers that I started with, Joe Paragamo and David Wright. And I would start, I would do one-liners, but I would do David's setup and Joe's punchlines. And so I got gonged in like 20 seconds, but I was I was creating- <laughs> Who gonged you? Uh, the audience gongs you. Oh, the audience gongs yeah, you. Yeah, so, so I was creating characters just to get- You also stripped in college. You also stripped in college. I also stripped in college. But did you- I didn't know that. Did you, yeah, a couple times. Did you do whatever anything like whatever it takes you kind of stuff when you were coming up at all? No, besides well, you know, I was in the military. Oh, I didn't know that. So I was in the Navy. I was on TV in active duty Navy. When I was on BET, Comic yeah. View, I took a week's leave. Drove up to L.A. because they filmed the whole season in a week. This is why my dad loves you. My dad was in the Navy. Oh, really? Yeah. You're a good man. That was, uh, you know, we take, we take, it was, it was three or five episodes. They would, BET would take three or five episodes a day, Monday through Friday. So the whole season got filmed in a week. And so I just took a week's leave. And back then it was a contest. Mm -hmm. I kept winning my rounds. And then they said, okay, you now you're going to get an hour special. So I came back like a month later, filmed my hour special. And keep in mind, I probably had 20 minutes. It yeah. was the slowest Stretch. hour. Because I'd be like, Stretch. I was walking the stage like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, here so, we go. I, when I say I waited till the last laugh died, <laughs> it was silence and I get the next joke. So. <laughs> It was. I just remember that clock is right in front of you, and I remember I go, "How fucking long is sixty minutes?" Hey. <laughs> Who else was it? Were in those competitions? Anybody we would recognize that you competed against? Uh that year. Um, I don't know. I'll tell you this. I don't know who I competed against. But when I became the host the next year, that uh, I Mike Epps was on. D Ray was on. Joe Coy was on. Hell yeah. Um, I want to say Cat was on, but I, I'm Jesus not positive. Christ. But that that that's the thing about BET. They got a fucking library of yeah. legends just sitting there. Yeah. They're not on They're YouTube. Not They're not on BET. Yeah. They're just sitting there. You Have you guys seen this photo of Adele? Yeah. Yeah. So this photo is going viral, and a lot of people had a lot of different feelings about it. A lot of people came out and said that they were offended that she was cultural appropriating Jamaican culture. And then a bunch of people who were Jamaican came out and basically said, shut up unless you're Jamaican. She's at the Notting Hill Festival. This is just what they do to celebrate that culture. Correct. And Adele's do doing nothing wrong. A couple days later, your favorite person ever, Chet Hanks, came out and posted this video. Shooting what a his boy. Does shooting his shot with Adele. Yes. Adele, Adele, Adele. You know, I say me a prayer from a long time, but after me see a picture of a deck, mm, it sweet me. Me not tell no lie, my girl. Ear style fit you. Big up yourself. The look away. 
<laughs> First of all, it's tough being Tom Hanks' son. Let's just yeah, say man. That. It's also tough. When your dad's if Forrest Gump. It's a tough go. But that doesn't mean you have to wear jean shorts with white socks pulled up. Like, there's no excuse for that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't care whose son you are. <laughs> jean shorts with your white socks pulled up. That's dude, it's not your look. It's a tough fucking go. I, he's entertaining to me. He, man. dude, he's super entertaining. Yeah. There's no doubt that Jamaican What's he accent. Do? That for a he's living. a white rapper. Yeah. Oh, he's a rapper. I, do you have a problem <laughs> with what Adele was wearing? I don't. Yeah, I don't either, right? No. I mean, it's, just, it's, it's no different than uh, you see people wearing the with the British flag. Or the American flag. The Australian yeah, flag. Yeah, man. It's like it, this. It, the, trust me, there's worse things to be mad about. The, yeah, this right. ain't it. This, don't don't put, point your negativity. Yeah, I would be out. more mad at the jeans and the white socks than I would be at the bikini, <laughs> I think. I think. But But this dude, man, I love his... A hundred percent confidence and commitment. Hundred percent to to this. Like he's. Do, what do you think and would think happen Adele if Adele too, called right? him? That's why he took his mm -hmm. shot. She's single yep. now. She lost all that weight and ditched homeboy. What? What? Uh, what do you think I think Adele she got divorced him? and then you she think, got skinny. What kind of game do you think Chet Hanks has? If uh, Adele calls Chet Hanks, I bet he's pr a pretty smooth criminal. Again, when your dad's Tom Hanks, you're gonna have some chops. You want me, my dad? <laughs> That's the <laughs> that would be my line too. My yeah. Dad? yeah, hey, want to come over and see my dad? Yeah. Yeah. No, my I got the, uh, here. Put this on. I got the the bottom half of Splash. I got the <laughs> come on. Want to be yeah. my dad? Hey, want to be my dad? Would be my line too. <laughs> That's all I'd be saying. Yeah. Want to be my dad? <laughs> I'd have a shirt. My white shirt. Would be like my dad's Tom Hanks. Yeah. <laughs> I will read the script of Forrest Gump too. Yeah. Hey, I'm Tom Hanks' son. Yeah. I would, That's how I'd be if I was in high school, like prom, homecoming. You want to come to my house? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, before we take, before we go to the dance, let's go to my house, meet my dad. Yep. Everyone's like, yeah. Good for him. Yeah, I think good I love when too. he does that Jamaican voice. <laughs> it's fucking good. Good. It is good. Uh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> for a Jamaican voice? Okay, I mean, yeah. It's pretty. The look away, though, is a little much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing's a little awkward, which yeah. is why I enjoy it. Yeah. That's why too. I enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you wait for him to break character. He never breaks it. Never. <laughs> Taiwan. It's a kind of a kite festival. And then this, I did you see this? I saw this. This, this is seen. so insane. Yeah. A little girl got caught up. No. Yup. With the end of How? a kite. I. She's like uh, says three years old. Let me play you the part where she gets caught up. <laughs> keep watching this. Oh! Look at this. But, but keep watching. Look how high this shit gets. Oh my god. And she's holding on. She is. I holding. think she's wrapped. Like it, it just uh, caught her. Is there someone staring the cat at this point? Yeah, or? someone has it on so the side. Pull it down. I mean, because it's in the tail of it. They have the, the front of it. Oh my god. And then finally, boom, they caught her. Holy fuck. Did you see how high that thing got? Yeah, that'd be, that is just that'd insane. Be that is crazy. Oh my God. I, that is insane. I can't, um, I don't know also, as a parent kite thing, how man. my brain computes that if I was sitting there watching that. It, it, there's no, no, I don't. there's no, there's no way to even compute like how, where your mind goes on that. I, I, I would have no idea. I would have tried to do the follow it around. Yeah. And it is weird. Yeah, hundred percent. I'd be like, yeah, yes, like, but, like God, catching good a punt, luck, dude. Yeah, exactly. Like the highest punt of all time. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it is weird. Like I was on a Lake Balboa with my family. My son wanted to go on those swan boats. Yeah, and we go to the middle of the lake. I'm the only one pedaling. It's a good leg work. I did. Fucking, I was bike riding earlier that day, and I'm like, oh, if we get stuck out or something like that, and then my son's like flipping out. But then your mind. Starts thinking, I'm like, all right, worst case scenario. If we got stuck, this, we got left vest on. So you, it's very weird as a parent. You go through worst case and like, all right, this is what I'll do here. This is what I'll do here. Where you are know? you with, by the way? Do you and your girl, you, you public display of attention people? I'm not. No, I'm not. I mean, not like, I'll, I'll grab some hands, hands. And like yesterday, her mom was around. I was like, her mom turned around, like, to do something. I'd grab her titties to me. That In front funny. of her mom? No, her mom would turn her oh, back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -uh. yeah. 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 I'm, I'm never been a make <laughs> Like a, no, oh god! The makeout uh, people, uh. you know, when someone's in line in front of you and they're and you can hear like that, uh, and you're like, god, god what damn. are you fourteen? Yes. First of all, not for me, dude. No, you don't have a. I don't want to have a boner around a bunch of other people. No, it's, no, I'm for sure gonna get one if we yeah. start kissing. Because then my brain goes, it's go time. Yeah. What? 
But why wife will always say can't, can't, my jeans can't control. You can't fit. Well, you can't fit in the You're extra see everything, jeans. Yeah. You see everything. But my wife, when she says she's like, I start making out with her like at the house, and then I start to get into it, but you know, booty and boobs, and she's like, No, 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 can't we just make out? I'm like, No, that's not. Oh um, no. Why? Why you? And she's like, this is just fun just to kind of, and then think about what might happen later. No, I'm like, no, 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 no. No, this is, it's time. No. It's go time. My guy goes, it's go time. Yeah. My if God. you don't do it, we're going to have problems. Well, she says, she's like, well, why can't we just kind of tease each other and then come back to it later? I'm like, oh, no. That's that sounds not terrible. Uh, talking about blue balls. Yeah, that, yeah. that doesn't sound. Why do go to a strip club? Yeah. I, that, I'm sorry, I'm at Cheetah's? That's why I don't go to strip clubs. Am I at Cheetah's? Because I'll get singles out. What The reason I hated strip clubs, and I never quite got it, was. You never went to the Boom Boom Room? But the I don't want to have to pay you, cause I can touch my dick for free. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like when I used to go with a bunch of people and it was drinks and every it was like a fun group. Even that. that but that would make at least sense to me. Somebody's yeah. bachelor party. Yeah. But going to the boom boom room, I gotta buy you what a four hundred dollar bottle of what? The hustle, yeah. They do the do the the they are the ultimate hustlers because once you're like look i don't want and then that knee hits your dick you're like the one bottle yeah, yeah, just, <laughs> just take my credit card yeah what happened to our friend dude he just gave him their, his dad's platinum credit card 